Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Come on. thing, this thing about mom shaming, at some point has got to stop. So this Kylie Jenner, too young to be a mom, 20 years old, remember. <laughs> too young, too, too young, but the baby is here, the baby's two months old, and she's being shamed because she went to Coachella last weekend. Featuring a pink wig, good makeup, you all are gonna continue to buy her lip kit thinking that you could do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a nice white dress, perky boobs. <laughs> Why was, and, and also she and Travis Scott, the baby's father, who has not yet fled the scene. <laughs> uh, anyway, they went to Miami shortly after the baby was born to get like a little lover's holiday, you know, whatever they did, and now she's at Coachella. I don't see a big deal. She posted this picture of herself. The thing that I think made it a bigger deal is that she says, I'm a cool mom. I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. You're a child. You're, you're a child. You know, you're not even in the club. I, I, if I was 35 years old and I had a couple of kids and you know a, a relationship going on and I walked in to the mom club and there's a 20 year old child there with a baby, I resign from this mom club. I want, I want like-minded moms around me. Anyway, she was at Coachella. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, why wouldn't she go out of the house? The baby's two months old. She, she's got, she's got a, yeah, she's got a business to run you know, selling that lip kit stuff and whatever she does. And I don't see anything wrong also with moms having fun. Even if it's, if, you know? The baby is sleeping most of the day, you know? Who, what's to say she's probably a good mom? Maybe she's a bad mom, I have no idea. But I'll tell you what, when you have a baby, first thing you wanna do is get out of the house and do something normal. <laughs> You know, I, I, that whole thing about, oh my gosh, the baby's here and I'm gonna you know, spend my whole life and entire thing, please, don't sing that song to me, Sarah. <laughs> you love the baby, but come on now. The baby, the baby entered your life. You didn't enter the baby's life, you know? <laughs> I used to look at my little cutie Kevin, you know, in the, in the um, what do you call that thing they sleep in? Fanatic. Right. No, a crib, he was sleeping in a crib. Right, I used to look at him in that crib as I have my headphones in my hand, about to go off to work three months after he was born, feeling no ways about it, and I would tell him, you know, you know mommy and daddy love you, but um, we're, and our lives have obviously changed a lot because you're here, but you gotta get into the groove of what was already established. <laughs> Mom had something popping, mom wants to return to that. Mom loves being a mom, but mom still needs to be Wendy. And, and I don't think that's a bad thing. So, Trav uh, Kylie was seen also last night courtside at a game at the Houston Rockets with uh, Travis Scott. So there she is at the game. So are you gonna say, all right, those are two events in less than seven days. She went to Coachella and now she's at the game. Where's the baby, where's the baby? The baby's at home. Sleeping. Anyway, I'm, I'm team moms go out and have fun. 
you know. Only cause the happier the mom is with her life, the better mom she'll be for the child. That's all. So Robin Thicke's ex-wife, Paula Patton. Well, you know, she's in love with a married man. I know. And there's the man, no, not woe to him. Look at that security chocolate drop over her shoulder. Um, I mean, we're winding down season nine on the Wendy Show. When we come back for season 10, I need a little eye candy in between. <laughs> Who is this? Ow, my ankle hurts, catch me. <laughs> Who are you, sir? Anyway, so Paula is dating this 37-year-old man. He's a real estate agent from Beverly Hills. His name is Zachary. What they say about Zachary is that Zachary's mom is actually a mogul who's amassed a fortune in real estate, and Zachary is just you know, a trust fund grown man you know, who doesn't really do much. Anyway, so they've been dating for a month. A month. And um, he reportedly is already living with her. Well, now hold on. You know how sometimes your place looks better than his? <laughs> and it's not that he's moved in, it's just that it was late and he stayed over. He, doesn't, he still doesn't have a key. He doesn't have a top drawer even. Anyway, look. <laughs> He's still married though, but not in the way you think. I just wanted to be dramatic about it. <laughs> Appar apparently he and his wife are separated. They have a few kids together, whatever. Uh, he hasn't even moved his stuff out of his ex-wife's, or soon to be ex-wife's house yet. And um, they met apparently at Julian's basketball game. You know, Paula and Alan share Julian together. And he apparently, this, this guy, the, the trust fund guy, he, um, the real estate person, uh, he is a father as well, and he was there at the game. And I was thinking, you know, those sporting events, get into it. Like, don't throw on sloppy sweatpants to go. I'm not saying you have to turn it out. But, you know, throw on the good sweatpants. <laughs> you know? And a good bra that hoists everything up and stuff. Don't forget a little lipstick. Don't look like you're trying too hard, but they're single dads at these games as well. Like, look how they met. They're just sitting there innocently cheering. So she says she's in love. It's only been a month. She's in love with him. Well, here's my thought. We all, like when you meet somebody, and you know what I'm saying, you feel like you're in love. It's just not something that you say, you know what I mean? Because it sounds crazy. Like you're not in love, you're infatuated, this guy is new, hopefully he doesn't have keys to your house and this move in idea, wow. But you know what also? She's probably a little bit um, antsy because Robin has moved on with his life. See, Robin has a, are they married? Uh, no, not married. Okay, Robin has a baby's mother who now has Robin's baby. The young lady is young, 23. They've been together for a few years. We've shown you pictures of them at Knott's Berry Farm and the Whole Foods and whatnot, walking around. I, I didn't think it was gonna last either. I didn't think it was going to last. So it turns out that Paula gets along really well with this girl and her relationship with Alan, or, um, oh, rest in peace. Robin is better than ever. And so they have no problem doing stuff together. You know, I like them better divorced, Robin and Paula. Yeah. You know, she, that was her first boyfriend, the first guy she's ever done anything, at 16. I don't think that's healthy. I, I, I don't think it's healthy when a girl marries a guy that, that she's been with since she was 16, no breakups in between or anything like that. I, I feel like if you knew him when you were 16 and you, you had a thing for him, but then you meet him again and you're 33, that's a different story. But to do the whole stretch, are you kidding me? There are so many morsels out here. <laughs> and there's so, much that, there, there's so much that you have to gain as a woman that you can't gain when you're sick in love and in a relationship. But back to the morsels. <laughs> 
date, date and date. Anyway, so um, I hope this guy is not a fame seeker, but I venture to say he's a, he, I don't wanna go on looks alone. But doesn't he look like a fame seeker? Yes. Uh-huh. You know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> so last night, The Real Housewives of New York was on. A lot of people complain. I say that, that, you know, we don't care when you talk about housewives. Well, guess what? Somebody's watching because these shows are still on. So, and, and I had it on, although I don't watch the same way I used to. I must admit, The Housewives, none of them really, truly hold me like that. But New York is my favorite franchise. They were, they were on low tone. Apparently last night, Luann apologized to Bethany uh, for not listening to Bethany when Bethany was trying to tell her not to marry Tom D'Agostino. Oh. And so here's a part of how it played out. Take a look. I just want to say that I should have kind of heeded your warning. I just couldn't see. <laughs> oh my gosh, a feast for my eyes. Mm. They're beautiful. It's Wednesday night. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw up. I was in love. And love is blind, and that's what happened. Because when I don't I want you to bad, feel like you have to say I that you were No, I don't. I don't feel like I have to. Okay. I just want to say that I wish I had taken my blinders just a little bit off. And... You want to say you were right? Oh, no, I don't want to say Well, I do want to say you were right. Just say it. You're right. I love their hair coloring, too. You know what, you were right is not something that a lot of people know how to say, you were right. I just learned after 50, you know, and how I'm gonna change my life, you know, what am I gonna do differently? You know, how's this gonna be the next 50 years? You'll see one day when you get there, you'll do a whole new blueprint on your life. Is there anybody over 50 in our audience? You know what I'm talking about. When you were 25, maybe it's hard to say you were right. You know, we all have hard heads like that, but yeah, you were right. You were right, that's it. Um, so Eva Marcel at the Housewives in Atlanta, well, well, they welcomed their baby boy last week. Her fiance's name is Michael Sterling. Now her ex, who she has a baby with, who's three, uh, Kevin McCall is claiming that he might be the baby's father. Now you are gonna just pull up to the TV. I want you to stare closely, and then I'm gonna break it down. Go ahead. Here's a toast to fatherhood. Five wins. See, a lot of y'all don't know I just had a baby, uh, but y'all just don't know that I'm the father. And when you see that the baby is chocolate and fine like me, you'll see I'm the daddy. I mean, you never know. It could be a girl that I just had. I'm gonna name her Everlasting. EVA lasting. Somebody call the cops. You know, he's a very, very handsome man. He's got good lips and good hair and, and the squinty eyes. And, oh gosh. But on account of the tick that he apparently has in his head, he is undateable. And another thing, why is he holding his glass like that? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> and, you know, I thought when guys get together, cause he was there with a guy friend of his, when guys get together, don't you drink, you know, hard brown juice and stuff like that? <laughs> if I walked in the house and my husband was busting over, open a bottle of wine, sitting around with his guy friend, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, what is, go no, that is what we do. It's almost like when we girls get together, I mean, other than tequila, do you open brown juice, like Maker's Mark? And you, yeah, uh, sometimes. It's not really, um, anyway. And it's white wine, too. <laughs> Remember, this is the same Looney Bin who disowned his own daughter on social media months ago. Yeah, so Eva, 
run for the hills. This, this will still not make you interesting on Atlanta Housewives. I'm just calling it the way I see it. This is not an interesting plot line, you know? Um, this is sad. Um, now, her husband, uh, Eva's husband, fiance, I don't think they got married yet. Anyway, he was running for mayor. He didn't win, but apparently he has all kinds of political connections. So you need to call the cops, the FBI. <laughs> you need... Hire some security. And I have a recommendation for which security you should hire. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and the interesting thing, because you know Paul is tall, which means he's gotta be like six feet five. Because Paul is tall. Look. You know, this Taylor Swift, she's got good looking security too. And here in New York, we did the story like last year or something like that uh, about how her, one of her security guards actually has a bedroom in her New York uh, condo. I don't know whether that's how she gets down all the time. Yes. Well, you know, she is Taylor Swift and she, you know, is a single woman. So that is a bit of security in the house after midnight. <laughs> When she might not be feeling as secure as she should. <laughs> okay, but anyway, all right, okay. All right, so um, we talked this week about the WWE John Cena yeah. and Nikki Bella and how they've broken up weeks before their wedding. Well, according to people, the red flags started showing and I don't know why she didn't back out. John made Nikki sign a 75-page contract before she could move into his home back in 2013. What is in the contract? The contract uh, calls her a house guest, first of all. They refer to her as a house guest. And it's, it, some of the things alleged in the contract were, you know, she, if she vacated, she would have to vacate immediately if they broke up. It's just... Damn, okay, so wait, so he doesn't want kids ever. He's nice looking, but, but this is not likable behavior. So Nikki, so you signed this contract, so you knew what you're signing up for. But she went along with it, because I didn't know who Nikki Bella was. Now we're talking about this story. So sometimes people who are um, entertainers, they do the most so that, talk about me, talk about me. All right, so Nikki, so now we're talking. Um, <laughs> There shouldn't have been a contract. There should never be a contract when somebody moves into your house. <laughs> the thing is, is that, um, and I know that there's certain zip codes and states where if, you, if you're squatting for 30 days in somebody's house, all of a sudden you are an official uh, resident of the house. Believe me, I went through that on my divorce. Yeah, years ago. Oh my gosh, it was horrible, but I got around it. I wrote about it in my book. The same one talking about Skip the Honey Dip. <laughs> If, if you were here yesterday, oh, that book. Anyway, but you can finagle around it. If you're so rich, though, John, and you are, then all you do is when you guys break up or if you were living together, then call a moving company, delicately have them pack up all of your stuff, don't break anything, quickly change the locks, be civilized, and put in first, last, and security for, for a place for her just to sit for a moment or pay for a month to, for her to stay at a hotel or something. The thing is, is that to me, this is unlikable behavior. And if you're trying to do your career like The Rock has done his, one thing you gotta learn, John Cena, is The Rock is actually likable. Yeah. 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 So John and Nikki, um, they starred on that total Bella's show that, well, apparently it's still on. She's a twin, you know, yeah. Nikki, uh-huh. And so her sister had a baby. Thank you, co-host. <laughs> um, so if you're into that show, if you're into the, the, the um, Bellas, uh, it returns in May, so. And I wonder, I wonder if their engagement is gonna play out on the show. I'm still not one. I mean, that's that. Maybe, maybe I'll give it a whirl. Look, my heart is broken. I've got a story to tell you, and let me just tune up before I start talking. Dance mom, Abby Lee Miller, 
nope, 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 nope. This makeup is too good. I got 45 more minutes here and it's gonna stay in place. Abby was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And so uh, the cancer develops in the lymphatic system. And you remember I was telling you that she was sick, moving really slow. We talked about it, we did this story uh, earlier this week on Hot Topics and something about her spine and, and whatnot. Well, she's weak and her arms and her back and I just feel so horrible. You know, um, because Abby has, her, both her parents passed away. She's an only child, you know? And she did do her time in jail. Now she's lost that weight and we, oh. And you know, her dog passed away and everything. Well, she had this dog. She's one of the weirdos who stuffs their dog. Do you do that? I don't care how much I love an animal. No, you are not sitting over there looking at me, I, you know? <laughs> but. Abby stuffed her dog and everything. Listen, abs, Abby. Uh, sorry to hear about everything. All right, let's uh, talk about something else. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. So Tina Turner is 78, and if you're 78 years old. <laughs> Not for nothing, sister, but during the commercial break, you might want to take a look at yourself and then go moisturize. 78, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. They say the hands never lie, so she's wearing the gloves. She looks terrific yeah. and walking and doing it. So last night, she was at the premiere of uh, a musical about her life, and that's her being there. Now, Hopefully, um, and the woman who played her doesn't exactly look like her, but I'm sure she has all the moves, you know? I hope that that comes to New York and comes to Broadway. The thing is, the thing is, we've all seen What's Love Got To Do With It at least five times, so we know the story, but I would love to see it all played out on Broadway. That's a good 78, you all. We got more great show for you today, everybody. The author of the new Meghan Markle biography, Andrew Morton, is here. So grab a snack.